there to a show or a festival. If I don't know how these people be finding me on the internet, but they'll find me on the yeah. internet. Weird, man. It's well, weird. good stuff gets around quicker. I'm that's, like, that's I, what, yeah. yeah, it's strange though, cause no, I'll be. It won't people be my show though. It won't yeah. be my show. It'll mm. be just me standing. Probably came to see a homie, yeah. and somebody be like, "Hey, man, I seen you yesterday, man. Like, uh, I knew you did something. Whatever you did, you was good at." And the people been saying that to mm-hmm. me for the last couple of weeks, and I and I like that that they saying that to me, cause I'm like, "Damn, I look like a cool nigga." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like that's that's a dope compliment. I look like I'm good at whatever I do. There you go. <laughs> so, would you say uh, um, that is that the same song that would get the the best response out of every show? Or is no, that like, I is think, there a part of the set where like it climaxes and that's where everybody's Oh, no, engaged? that's the first song I perform. Okay. Yeah, that's still my favorite though. That's the first uh-huh. song. I think the the song that might get the most reaction to, is it be Rosewater because everybody mm-hmm. can connect with it. Mm-hmm. Like everybody don't like rap music. Everybody don't like singing music. Right. So when you got a rapper and a singing song, it's like, oh, everybody can. Yeah. Best, you know what I'm uh, <laughs> two great tastes right, that go great two. together. Uh-huh. <laughs> like the Reese's. Yeah, Peanut you know what I'm saying? Chocolate. Plus, I yeah. make a whole bunch of different type of music all at <laughs> once. So, like, when that song come in, like, they be like, that's like damn, the, man, that's who is you, bro? Like, you can do everything, I guess. Like, hell yeah, nigga. You probably see that on your, on your album, right? Huh? You're trying to, like, make that. Yeah, my album is amazing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to listening to the whole thing when, when it gets released. Yeah. Man, so, you, you won't tell out. us. It's getting yeah, cooked. It's, it's getting cooked in the chick in the <laughs> kitchen area. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. like, that's it. It ain't never we coming. We talk out. about this way too. Long. The new uh, the new chronic. <laughs> 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 It'll come out when it comes out. Yeah, It'll just come out. Right yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um so overall, what do you think the message uh with your do you have a message to your lyrics or your overall uh persona of who you are and what are you trying to get across to the listener? Um, well, recently I really had to like reevaluate my whole mm-hmm. life, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I can genuinely say the message I'm trying to get across to people is, you know, like no matter how hard life get, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't stop. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was times where, you know, people going to hear records where it was times where I was saying stuff like it was times where we was like eating ice. For a week straight, you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't had no money. Moms ain't had no money. And that's how we had to live, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And and even back then, I was still so inspired, you know? And and, and that's basically the story I'm trying to tell is that let people know that life's going to get hard, man. It's going to feel like like you don't even want to be on the earth no more. But at the end of the day, if this really what you want to do, you can't stop, you know what I'm saying? Because when, when you stop stopping, you know, giving up don't solve nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. give like there's no highest destination to reach, yeah. so just don't give just up. Just keep pushing, yeah. Just keep pushing, man. Like everybody got their vices, everybody got their traumas they went to, but don't let it consume you. You know. In your experiences, have there has there been that point in time where you're just like, damn, like I don't think this is for me. Have you ever gotten there? Yeah, have yeah. You... Like a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. man. A couple of days ago, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I want. I ain't even want to mm-hmm. live no more. Mm-hmm. Like because like. Everything was hitting me so quick that, like, I didn't get it. Like, because I'm so young and, like, in my mind, I'm way older than what I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, I'm only 20. Right. You know, so there's, like, things that I think too far on because I be, be, like I said, mentally, I feel like I'm a different age, so I lack patience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my sense of urgency is a little bit too out of control where I have to tone it down because... It's one thing being urgent and, you know, around, you know, everybody you around, you like, hey, you know, let's, let's, let's work, let's work. And it's one thing you just being straight up disrespectful to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where, you, yeah. where your urgency and your ego start to come out where you yeah. like, well, you're not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And when your ego start, like, controlling shit, that's that's when you need to sit your ass down somewhere. So, Sit like, your ass down, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said anything for a while. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, like yeah, like recently I felt that way, but I really had to be like, man, like how far I've come at such a young age and only being in LA for And it's just getting years. started, so just getting started, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you're only twenty, man. Yeah, like, yeah you, I'll be you forgetting, man. I'll be like I'm thirty two and shit. 
I'll be at home like 32, man. Still and like, you look, look at your watch, you're like, no, I'm not. Like, nigga, <laughs> two more hours, nigga, I'm going to be 35, nigga. It's crazy. That's how I be feeling. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah I'm learning it. patience every day and trusting the process. Got to trust the process. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You, you got to work saying? on your craft, you know. Got to. No, no saying. one thing's, uh, yeah, yeah, just work on your priorities. You I do. get it. No, that's, that's, that's awesome. You do. You got to, man. Mm-hmm. Like, even with me, like, no matter how many times I be willing to give up, I can't. Even if I just said today, I ain't mm-hmm. making no more music. I still can't stop. Like, it just, that's just, right. I was, that's my purpose. It ain't even my dream. It's my calling, you know? It's so. just what you do. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, um, awesome. Well, I, I, we, I think we want to move on to the next segment. Yeah. Pooh? Yeah. Yeah, cool, man. So, I mean, jump in whenever you want. You know. Oh, we, okay, we, cool. We know yeah. you can talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, we're, uh, we're so, gonna... where, where can we find, our, again, your music, Yoshi? Yeah, and then... Uh, um... You can get me on the... Oh, yeah. You feel me on the gram, on the Twitter. Um, right now, my stuff not out everywhere, but you can check my project on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? And, Anywhere, yeah. but your future Yoshi projects, vintage. Yoshi Vintage. Yoshi. But my but four eight four five eight album will be everywhere. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying everywhere. You feel me? Well, yeah, everybody keep a lookout at yoshivintage.com. Also, for yeah. performing this Friday. Performing this Friday at Callahan's. But if you're listening to this podcast in the future, yeah, which you probably happened. will be. <laughs> you can catch her. <laughs> so so just we want to give a general um, uh, website or a place where they can find you for any future dates. Um, she she if, if you're listening to this on a podcast, like David just said, um, this, it would have already happened. But she she performs like she performed at Callahan's, everybody. And then uh, where, oh, where else would you be I able to perform at Saturation? Saturation? Where's that, L.A.? Oh, Sunday I perform at Saturation Festival. Nice. Where's that at? In, uh, yeah, Riverside. In Riverside. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Okay. Shout out to my man's Noah James. You know what I'm saying? And um, right after, uh, stay tuned, by the way, because right after the podcast, after everything's done, like like an end credits kind of deal, like we're, Marvel, uh, we're, we're going to play another, another Yoshi Vintage song yeah, at the end. So, so, you know, stay tuned for that. So that's going to be that's gonna be awesome. You're going to like what you hear. So let's get right into the, the next segment, sports. All right. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Jose and David's favorite segment of all time. They're avid Raider fans. Isn't that right, guys? No, man. We don't, we don't watch sports a whole lot. So <laughs> they, take they it don't. from here, man. Take it from yeah, here. Yeah, I got it. Uh, what happened? What happened this week? Well, real quick, uh, <laughs> you know, the NBA Finals are going to start pretty soon, man. So uh, uh, tonight the Rockets and the Warriors playing. LeBron. Playoffs? About, yep. LeBron's about to get eliminated from the playoffs. Maybe. Uh, that's kind of a work oh. in progress. Oh, you're not a LeBron fan. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, somebody yeah. playing Mario. Oh, Someone's yeah. playing that. Uh, that's, uh, Mike Tyson. That's, the uh, that's the Foo's uh, sports it's banner. a little sports banner. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, some controversial sports topics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, let us know your, th- your thoughts on this, Yoshi, and uh, anyone can jump in. Um, there's a new NFL rule. Uh, if anyone is not familiar with sports, uh, the whole athletes kneeling bullshit. Uh, and by bullshit, I mean the backlash against these guys. Um, but the NFL came out with a rule these last couple days that uh, it's a mandatory rule. You can't kneel during the anthem or sit. Uh, so they're kind of taking away a liberty of the players. It's their platform. Um and then again, you know, people have lost their jobs from this. Colin Kaepernick, uh, uh, Eric Reed, I believe, has lost his job or can't get a job now in the NFL. Oh, it's shit. Kind of a silent, like, black ball against them, you know, because mm-hmm. it's only the owners. It's 32 billionaires. And um, just so everyone knows, uh, there there was no official. There wasn't even an official <laughs> vote held. Uh, it was kind of a silent. Everyone agrees. Yeah. So that just shows the position of the. <laughs> Playing your video games over there. Yeah, you're still talking about <laughs> sports, <laughs> Jesus. But keep going. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little joke David did there. Good job. Um, yeah, so are you an NFL fan, Yoshi? Do you uh, uh, no, watch football? Man, Do you watch any sports? Sure. Any sports at all? I love basketball. I used to okay. hoop my whole life, y'all feel me? Yeah, so, <laughs> but no LeBron, right? Huh? That's what I heard. No well, LeBron, LeBron no he's fan. down 3-2. Yeah, I don't mess with LeBron like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm up with Curry. You feel what I'm saying? That's my man's oh, okay, okay. They're playing Still tonight. You think they're in trouble tonight? No, nah, they ain't. They ain't never in trouble. 
All right. Steph Curry with the shop boy. Yep. The, uh, <laughs> Splash yeah. Brothers. My man uh, be well, they're with down the a man tonight. They got Ego Dollar. He's out. Who? Ego Dollar. Andre Ego Dollar. I don't know who the people yeah. is. Yeah. He's uh, one of the. Uh, they, <laughs> they call him the. I forget the fucking nickname they call him. Some stupid ass nickname. But when those five guys are on the floor. Uh, but we'll see what goes down. Um, I don't know if they got a good chance, actually. It just know, depends how James say, Harden it's plays. It's rigged. It's rigged. I don't care nobody says he's rigged. That's no, true. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Cleveland, Golden State. <laughs> you heard everyone. Rigged. <laughs> you already know when people's favorite team lose. Like, it's rigged. It's yep. rigged. <laughs> and then uh, there's also a, uh, a video that came out of uh, Sterling Brown. He's an NBA player. Uh, I think two days ago in the city of Milwaukee. Uh, he got tased by police. I seen that shit. Yeah. Um, that was crazy. Yeah, so... What happened? Know, like, what led to that? He went to go by to a CVS or something, but, you know, he parked in a handicapped spot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so he, th you know, they should have just gave him a ticket, but, like, I don't think it takes six cops to write you a ticket. Oh, shit. Right. And so also, he's, like, six foot eight. He's six foot eight, six foot nine. Oh, keep it with tall. And yeah, it, I, six niggas. Yeah, the video is kind of, like, you I can't see, see it fully. It you can't see it fully because yeah, yeah. the guy has his fucking, like, little radio over it a little yeah. bit. Uh, but, like, it sounds like they're trying to say, take your hands out of your pockets. And then they just, like, as soon as and they jump them, like, as soon as they jump them, uh, you see all the cops jump. I think they 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 actually released a, a clear view of it. It looked crazy. I didn't like, see. It didn't, it yeah, didn't I didn't see no the. Sense. I didn't see the I new view. Like, I don't think you need all Even these the, people. Like, the, the mayor of Milwaukee, I guess, a couple days ago when it first got reported, he was just like, dude, uh, I don't want to release this video, which is not really the best thing to say. Just fucking, you know, media. Yeah, right. Cause so I mean, they had to come out. It came out today. Uh, yeah, it looked crazy. I'll look check so. it out. But I mean, just from what I saw, it was already bad. Um, so wow, man. I know that not sucks, bad. man. You yeah, know, he's not even <laughs> he's not even playing the playoffs right now. He's getting picked on. Shit. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's what's gonna happen to him? Uh, he's suing the city of Milwaukee. Okay. Yep. And the uh, the police have been disciplined, according to the police chief. Uh huh. Um, they probably so, don't pay leave. Yeah, paid That's leave, whatever. Happen, right? Google it, you'll find That's out. Man, I remember one time we were walking across the street in Hollywood. and uh, Oh, I remember one time we was walking across <laughs> the street in Hollywood. And my brother had just moved here like a week ago. Mm -hmm. And the police, gone, like five police grabbed my brother and was like, you arrested for domestic violence on her. I said, this is my brother. What is you talking about? Oh, I said, shit. domestic. Six police. Like, I'm like, why do they need this many people? And they told me some, you match the, uh, and he like, my name is DeAndre. Remember? I said, man, we just moved here. This is when we first moved here. And he was like, well, he said, well, what, what you jumping for? He said, if you ain't did nothing, just show us your ID. Like, we, I'm looking like, huh? And he was like, oh, then they was like, oh, apologize, wrong person. You matched the uh, person the of interest. The, so yeah. Whoever. Instead of saying like, we racially profiled you, you're that person yeah, of interest. Yeah, you know what I mean? Basically, uh, he like, you yeah. look like that black nigga. You're the right, yeah, you're the right color of interest to <laughs> it us. Look, it was just crazy to me. I was like, why do y'all need, I'm, I'm asking them, like, why y'all need this many polices? For some domestic violence? Y'all can't fight? That's the only thing I can think of. And he like, oh, you getting disrespectful. I said, I ain't getting disrespectful. I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because police are the ones that are, you know, walking around ready to fucking. Good, that ready me. to go crazy. They on have the equipment like, to take people down, but they're scared. It's, it's kind of weird. I won't say that I. Um, I won't say that I grew up in like the ghetto or anything, but it was hood. It was hood. It was, it was La Puente. <laughs> Isn't that funny as La Puente. And, yeah, but so La, like when I when I would Puente. go out when I would go out with my friends, my instead. <laughs> Instead of my parents saying, you know, watch out for gangsters or gangs or, you know, just bad people in general, they'd be like, <laughs> like, be careful, there's cops out there. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, oh, shit, they're right. That's what my mama be saying, too. That's <laughs> yeah. the crazy thing that you got to like, be don't like. Don't watch out for regular people. <laughs> right? <laughs> watch out for the fucking cops. They're supposed to be protecting us. Fake news. And it's funny. It just, I, I guess it uh, it just stuck with me <laughs> up until now. But, uh, yeah. It now it's on thing, full man. display for you in yeah, the whole I mean, country, Now with the right? internet and everything. We get to see what what, what the what the fuck yeah. happens, and see all have cameras on them now too. So yeah, they be taking that shit off. It's, it's crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. What's that video game over there? You're like, why has it got to the point where folks <laughs> yeah, got to wear cameras? What on? level are you on? Right. Uh, you know what chemical what plant shouldn't, zone. Shouldn't have even had to come to that. <laughs> That's a boost of power right there. For real. <laughs> all right. So you got anything else on sports, man? That'll do. That'll, That'll do. do. Uh, <laughs> end of the sports segment, everyone. All right, man. Thanks. And then you got the little. There we go. So Yoshi, 
I, I wanted to. Uh, have you been uh, listening in on this uh, volcano that's pretty much destroying the Big Island of Hawaii? Who? Yeah. Wait, what you just say? Yeah, Hawaii, Hawaii. The volcano is erupting as we Man, speak. Man, I know, and they hit a nigga in the leg. Really? And broke his heart. Okay, leg. okay. Well, we need it. There's an intro here. Uh,